Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how we can find server side template injections on live websites. Before that, if you haven't checked out my previous videos in which I have shown you that how we can bypass web application firewall to perform XSS, then I recommend you to check that out. Also, if you are new to this channel if you, and if you haven't checked out our website yet, which is bepractical.tech, then do check this out. We have awesome labs for web development as well as cyber security. As you can see over here, we have cyber security labs and all of these labs are of account takeovers and all these labs are based on real world scenarios. So you can practice each of these labs and improve your bug bounty skills. So let's get back to, to this video. First of all, let us talk about what is SSTI. So in modern applications, the input supplied by the user is used by some kind of template engines to render it in the HTML code. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if we talk about a typical application, as you can see over here, we have testphp.wallweb.com. So here, if we try to load our uh, content, so as a user, for example, if I type my name over here, so Fayaz, so as you can see, whatever I type in the search bar, it, it will get reflected into the response, right? So the content over here is loading dynamically, right? So in similar case, when a modern application tries to do something like this, um, when it tries to load a input supplied by the user into the web page, but instead of the typical way, the modern application tries to use some kind of template engines in order to uh, render this particular uh, input supplied by the user, then the chances of SSTI occurs. So as you, you may have guessed that the way to find cross site scripting and server side template injection is pretty much same. So the first step you have to find an injection point or an input point where you can supply your input and the supplied input is reflecting somewhere in the response or in the header or anywhere uh, in the application. After that, as we can provide a JavaScript payload in XSS, we have to provide a SSTI payload in the input field instead. So this is the main difference that we have to know. And also, if you talk about the impact of this vulnerability, so the impact of this vulnerability can be very high compared to what we can see in cross site scripting. Simply because by gaining an SSTI, we can even uh, escalate it further to perform remote code execution and we will see that how we can do this in the upcoming videos. So you may have guessed that how dangerous this vulnerability is and company often pays so much bounty in this particular bug class. So let us try to understand that how we can find this vulnerability. So as you can see, let me show you over here. These are some payloads that we should use in order to find SSTI. So let me show you what this payload in is indicating. So let me open a notepad over here. So suppose that you have found an input field. So you need to supply something like this. S something as uh, arithmetic expression will be fine because we know that seven into seven is 49, right? So if we supply something like this in the input, something like this, and if we get an output as 49, then the application is vulnerable. As simple as that. So we have to test each of these payloads. So as you can see over here, we have different payloads over here. So we know that 2 into 2 equals to 4, 3 into 3 equals to 9. So all of these payloads, if they get evaluated, then it means that the application is vulnerable to server side template injection. So let me show you that how we can test this out in a modern web application. So right now I have a modern web application over here, as you can see over here. And now we will try to find a server side template injection in it. Now, as I have told you before that to find SSTI, the first thing you need to identify is the injection point or the input point, right? So as you can see, there is one input point over here. We have the search field. And now the second thing that you need to do is you need to type a random value and let's see whether the value is getting reflected in the response or in the header or anywhere else. So if I type my uh, something like be practical, be practical, practical, hit enter. And as you can see, be practical is reflecting in the response, right? So we know that the input, whatever input we are going to supply is going to be uh, rendered in the response, right? And 
if you see over here it is showing that it is made with spring boot right so spring boot is a java java framework which is used to uh, manage web applications create web applications so from here we can confirm that if this application is using some kind of spring boot and spring boot comes with so many template engines so there is a good possibility of ssti over here now now that we have identified that there is an input point and the the supplied input is reflecting somewhere in the response the second thing that we need to do is we need to provide the payload for it right so like in javascript in xss we provide javascript here we are going to provide the template engine code right so i'm going to show you what this code is so we have this different codes over here and we we need to test each of these one by one and see which one is getting evaluated now for example if i type something like this uh two two into two and as you can see the response is same as what we have provided in the input which means that this uh, application this payload is not working right now let's test out some different payloads so over here we have these many payloads and let's test one of this so if i copy this and let's see what happens if i do this so if you see carefully you can see that over here we got 9 so 9 is what we have seen over here 3 into 3 equals to 9 so from here we can confirm that indeed that this payload is working and this application is ssti vulnerable we can test more of it like if we type 3 into 9 and if the application uh, send us a response 27 in the html then it is vulnerable right so as you can see in the response it is showing me 27 so from here we can confirm that ss this application is vulnerable to server side template injection so i hope you have understood that how we can find server side template injections on live websites if you have any doubts if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section also do join our telegram channel where we can learn together and interact together as a as a community and if you have any doubts then please let me know thanks for watching